us. There's one taxi. Here we go. Yeah. Woo! All right, so we were packed up early and we got uh, first dibs, at least on loading up one of the birds for, uh, for what we've seen. So now we're out here on the taxiway in Denali. Here we come. Woo -woo. What's up, Wes? Yeah. In 2005, a major plane crash like, super affected my life. It, it uh, killed friends of mine and made me realize that, that could easily be me and it could be me at any time in the future. So I started this idea of trying to promote an outdoor lifestyle, resiliency, camaraderie, pride in the Air Force. I just really was motivated to live and you know, like to make the most of it. So I started the Air Force Seven Summits Challenge. We'll go down the hill. There's a bunch of crevasses at the bottom of the hill. Wes and I were just looking at them on the map there. Over my military career, which is 20 years, I have climbed six of the seven summits. If I'm able to reach the summit of Denali, that'll be my seventh. Come into the mountains, dear friend. Leave society and take no one with you, but your true self. Get close to nature. Your everyday games will be insignificant, like email. Notice the clouds spontaneously forming patterns and try to do that with your life. Amen. Amen. I bless you with the Denali snow. Let's do it. Hey, hey, world. So it's day one. Okay, my name's uh, Rob Marshall. I'm a Lieutenant Colonel in the Air Force Reserves. But just a few seconds ago, I'm trained as a pilot. I was starting to think about how much my body ached. I'm kind of getting older, like I've been having to see chiropractors. And then I stopped and looked around. This is what I see, all right? What, what is there to complain about? Talk about filling up my bucket. All right, hey everybody. It's Rob, we're on day three. I'm inside the cook tent, as you can see. Nice and chill in here. Or actually, nice and warm in here. And uh, we had forecast for a light snow. And uh, this is what we're dealing with. It's not so bad now, it was a little while ago. Yeah. Alright. I'll take you over to visit some of the guys. Check out our digs. Yeah. They're chilling, drying stuff out. Yep, everything's up there in the attic. I saved my weeflings from the snowstorm. Yeah. So better snacks. Right on. For tomorrow's snowstorm. Here's our tent gear. Our skis. Mark, what are you doing? We're just trying to reinforce this wall to keep some of the wind and snow out of our tents. Make it, Mark. Quesadillas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the view. Pretty good. We are getting close to Windy Corner. It's a really hard day. We're moving all of our remaining gear from 11 to 14. This is what we have to do every morning is to wipe off the interior of the uh, tent because it fills up with moisture. So I scrape the snow. Whoa, look at all that. Because if you don't do that, it starts to rain. Oh, you guys, this looks really cool with the flags. 
climbing and time outdoors is my medicine. It's um, This is my church right here. It gives me something to look forward to when times are tough. I remember distinctly one year being in Kandahar, Afghanistan, where we were getting shelled almost every day. And uh, flying just some of the, just the riskiest, scariest you know, combat missions that I've ever been on. We were getting shot at on a regular basis. And I'd come back and the sun would be coming up and I'd quickly, before going to bed, log in and, and write my mountaineering friends as we were planning a trip to Antarctica. And what climbing does, it gives me a, a place to just be imaginative and um, to forget about and leave behind like the stress of the combat and the dirtiness and the ugliness of war and start thinking about, oh, what's it gonna look like when I get to Antarctica? And then quickly I realize, oh, it's time to get back uh, to war. But when I'm up here, it just makes me feel so effing alive that I feel like I can overcome now many, many more dark days or challenges ahead until my next climbing expedition. Here we are, approaching the incline, the ascent to the West Rib. Oh my God. On the west rib of Denali. Okay, let's zoom out. Boom! Yeah. Hey, is this the highest uh, kitchen you've ever cooked in? Oh no. Up on set. This is the coolest. Go get him, Wes. <laughs> we are definitely at the top of the rib. There's Marshall. Fucking get it, Marshall. Get it, Vasco. Rod, Marshall. Gentlemen. Five by five, go ahead. Good copy. It's 3 a.m., must be minus 20. Everybody's inside, Six, five people inside the tent. I'm just doing my best to keep the hot water coming. <sighs> Stay alive, <sighs> keep a good attitude. <sighs> I really wanna reach that summit. But nothing's more important than my buddy's life and the safety of my team. Denali has been the mountain that got away from me. When I last tried to climb it, I was recalled just before reaching the summit so I could go on a combat deployment to Iraq. This is what being on top of America looks like. Standing on the summit of Denali was, it just felt surreal, like by far the hardest of my summits to reach. I was just smiling and realizing my dream was finally coming true. 
uh, completing the seven summits. Woo! All right, time to go down. Selfie sticks suck. <laughs>